This is the Roden Schwartz EK56-4 uh, receiver back from the uh, late 70s, I guess it is, uh, with the modified digital display, as you see here. I've made a video on this before. One of, one of, our, one of the comments was that I didn't have any kind of uh, um, upper sideband, lower sideband performance on that. I didn't give any examples of that. It was all AM and CW and that kind of thing. So, um, I thought I'd just kind of do a quick video to kind of show you what it kind of does. Um, the thing that's important there is all the different bandwidths that it has. And so you can actually shape, you can actually cut out, they're actually very effective. I think we'll, hopefully we'll see that. Um, the other thing is we're running in, uh, actually running in, that's actually just manual tuning mode. I'm gonna go to this. Okay, this is one of the, one of the nets on the, the four, 14 megahertz band. And here's what the sound like with the different different. Uh, this is using the internal speaker, and I'll show you what the difference. This is this is running um, 30, 3600, 30, uh, 3.6. America 8, Lima, Radio, Whiskey. Okay, that went to 19. 5-9, oh, Ohio, Ocean Hotel. What it does is it cuts down a lot on the, uh, on the, on the background hiss and incidental type of things. So I'm going to tune to a different... This is the fine tuning the outer rim. So, uh, so if I open this up a little bit more, we hear the difference in the sound. It goes all the way up to 4800, uh, 4.8 kilohertz. Uh, it goes to 600, 6 kilohertz for AM. That's why I like an AM filter on it. Um, a lot of them are too narrow for this kind of thing, but. Three kilohertz is actually pretty comfortable. You still get a lot of fidelity. So let's go some more. Now, if I went to manual gain on this, it's a little different, so. You see the. And then. We can actually open it up a little bit with that. Get a little more response in there. Because you can control the game mic manually. There is a sweet spot for it. Let's see how I can. A lot of that 
spurious noise you're hearing from other signals. When you tighten that down, it's actually, you can actually make out a little bit more intelligible stuff in the background. If I go from 24 to So, <laughs> sorry for the jumping around here. I'm having to switch gears. November zero, Juliet Lima Foxtrot. Roger, Roger. November zero, Juliet Lima Foxtrot. I am your five nine into Tennessee Tango November. This reception is in Central Maryland, so that's what you're hearing, what you'd hear on the ham bands here. And it's about 2 p.m. local, 1400 local time in Eastern time zone. Anyway, so what else to show you on that except America 8, Radio, Charlie, November. He's getting kind of Testing going on this afternoon. That's a 1900. Open it up a little bit. That's 24, 2.4 kilohertz. Hear a little more of the Christmas in the background, a little more trouble. Unfortunately, these guys don't talk the whole time, so you have to hit them where you can. Anyway, so I just wanted to show that to some of you who had made comments about not being able to see how this handles weak signals. Uh, on the hand bands, and uh, so this is the hand that's currently open here um, in the middle of the day. So most of my videos are made at night, but uh, this one I figured since I'd, I'd have some time to do this and get this out to you pretty quickly. So anyway, I think it shows that it's a pretty decent, uh, receives pretty well, it handles the, the sounds pretty, you know, the, pretty well. So uh, I'm pleased with it. Basically all the, every mode seems just to be shine with this radio. Anyway, let me know if you have comments and questions and we'll talk to you next time.